Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> a time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The Magician! The incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Choose one. Choose wisely. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck. I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I... I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. Alright. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... The... Oh, uh, they found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. What happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding on the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. Said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out.
no sign of them. When you find them, run them. And keep me posted, Bobby. So this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yes, yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Uh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Kind of pouring my heart out here. Nick, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out. It's just not a good time. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but it kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? So are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> you did want it to happen though. Uh, um... I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <sighs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We've died. We've died. It's okay, I got this. <laughs> oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide! has like an actual radio i thought it was just like for your morning announcements oh yeah yeah it used to be more of a actual radio station actually um uh, it, you know i mean it, it is still technically but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore yeah it's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable cd player and everything and you know nowadays Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology. It giveth and it taketh. 
So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ or music or something. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here. I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh, no? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan, uh... And do do you enjoy the blase, Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan, Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan, Dylan. I'm Ryan, Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. All good? All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's, Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's going to need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. 
supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio. So, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that... Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but... Oh my god. Alright, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know, huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Ow. Ow. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? You know, I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck, no. 
Oh, uh, shit. Uh, uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, get into a cabin now. Go! go, go. Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Anything we can do. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off. Uh. Well, it, yeah. I mean, if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Do it. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. So, there's something missing. I, what's missing? Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Now, go quickly. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Uh, keep pressure on uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, oh fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea.
don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Emma! Emma, is that you? Off this. Well, that bodes ill.
Maybe there's something on here. Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. You left me back there, you asshole! Oh God, Emma, come on! Oh. Oh God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like... Bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, Okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know... I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what?!
Fuck! Ah! 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 Shit! Ah! 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 Look, you could. Ah! Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. <laughs> That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee, yeah, I thought so too. Oh man, poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Why would anyone want to shoot Kaylee Hackett? Should we call someone or... <sighs> Fuck, Chris! How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, what are you... I wanna taste you. Hey! Come here. Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, watch out! Nick, get off! I I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving uh. so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? I wonder where Caleb is.
This was so different, like... Twelve hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? N Nick. Please, just tell me. I've... Really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a. Oh, such a. Such. What? It's, it's such a cop out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No, no you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? 
really very smart, aren't you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I <gasps> Everything okay? Holy shit. If I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... to the launch. Only one left.
no. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. That's it. Stop squirming. Give me the trunk. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh. Oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby. Dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. I just don't get it. Nick was... That was not Nick. And where the hell are Jacob and Emma? Don't you think we should have run into them again by now? Well, they're probably just blanking their brains out in some cabin somewhere. I don't know, man. Something fucked up is going on. The hunters, Chris running off, Nick. Kaylee. Oh, God. Kaylee. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? You and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we 
we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't The moon, how poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Make your choice. Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Done to Max. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works.
Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Ah. Uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. Let's go. Hey! Hey! You! Asshole! You wanna tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend?
All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey, stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Ew. Spoon? Sort of lever. <laughs> that could work. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Shit, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... 
He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning. And I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though, you know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Like some kind of setup, a, a, a trap, I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping, extortion, conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Stop. Come on, lighten up. Yeah, easy for you to say. What? Can't you ever accept what's happening? Sometimes shit is just shit. And not everything's some challenge for you to overcome. Uh, actually, yeah it is. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet and you're... Gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. But... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... This really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. 
The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a. A dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey... Okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <laughs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the- I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like- Zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With a thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max, we just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. 
not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Shh, keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty-ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so... Let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. I feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way. Okay. Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not going to work. You think we're just going to be besties, and I'm going to let you walk right out of here. Not going to happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. 
Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. hiding 
locked. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. to rest soon. Whoever was wearing this cap be doing too well. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Well, see so you made yourself at home. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes? Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. What's this? An education. Watch.
Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you, you're the one at the top of the well with a rope and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know, but it's all we have to go on. Hmm kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. 
I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I'm, I'm, I was, when I Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not too easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I don't want to believe him. But I don't have a better explanation. I'm just not sure. It just doesn't add up. Hey, who knew we get to star in our very own terrible horror movie? Well, speak for yourself. I think I am pretty well cast. <laughs> well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. <laughs>